Greetings all and welcome back to the quick Wednesday update on one of the latest upcoming handheld devices. This was released last week and I missed it. So thought I'd do a quick video to just discuss the Trim UI Brick. <laughs> Not a brilliant name admittedly, but it looks quite awesome. So this would basically be the vertical version of the Trim UI Smart Pro. And this video was released on the Bilibili video web sharing site in China. Just a quick teaser that they had. It looks awesome. It really looks great. <laughs> it's one of the things of these handouts. When you see it, you get excited. I'm sure that's part of the marketing strategy. I like the RGB lighting. It's going to come with a 3 by 2 aspect ratio display with a 1024 by 768 resolution. And it's going to be like a little bigger than the MIUI Mini Plus, it seems, but not as big as the 40XXV as far as I can see. Uh, if we just have a proper look at the specs on the Reddit thread here. It's exactly the same specs as the Trim UI Smart Pro, with uh, the resolution on the screen obviously being a bit different. The one good thing about this is that you will be able to upscale Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games to crazy resolutions, which will make them look brilliant. Um, so that's the one good thing that you're going to have good pixel density on this resolution on this type of screen. They have a few pictures up on the Reddit thread, and from the look of it, it's going to have the same D-pad and buttons as the Trim UI Smart Pro. A lot of people love that, and some don't. Uh, but that's the great thing of the retro handheld scene at the moment. There's probably a handheld for every kind of like and dislike out there. Another thing that's noticeable on these images are the speaker grids on the front, which means front-firing speakers. So me personally, I love the idea of that. I think it's going to produce better audio. We've got to hope, though, that the internal placement of the speakers are better than in the Trimi iSmart Pro. So in the original Trimi iSmart Pro, if you don't know, those speakers were kind of placed facing towards the side of the unit, away from the speaker grids, which didn't make for great audio. But hopefully Trimi i learned from that mistake, and we've got better speaker placement on the inside here. The RGB lighting on it looks great. Looks like we'll have an SD card at the bottom, 3.5-inch jack, and a USB-C slot. The trigger placement at the back has me a bit concerned because it looks like it might produce some accidental presses. I've got no actual hands-on experience with these devices, but these buttons just look like they could produce accidental presses. So yeah, that's what we know about the Trim UI brick at the moment. I have no release date at this stage, waiting for that to come. The first question I had is why doesn't it have an analog stick? Now, obviously there's not a lot of space for it down here, but Given the fact that this unit has the same internals as the Trimi iSmart Pro, it means that it will be able to play N64 and Dreamcast games, and N64 games, a lot of them depend on having an analog stick. So will it be able to compete with the likes of the 40XXV that already has an analog stick? That I don't know. I didn't think that the 40XXV was anything worth looking at, but when I saw the review videos, I was quite surprised, so maybe we'll have the same with the Trimi i brick. At this stage, though, the 40XXV just looks like a better option to me. That might change depending on the price and on what reviewers say when they actually get hands-on with this unit. That's it for this video, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Tech Update.